playing asteroids in <laughs> a little spaceship there. So this is Friday, and the free play stuff is all over the Cradle of Aviation Museum. Now this is the computer free play room. This is so cool. Got an old school Oregon Trail there. And then you come out and you see this thing. Crazy. I love this. I don't know. Dude's looking pretty sus. I want to cosplay as uh, that guy. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Among Us. I mean, this is this is where the uh, costume comes from. And it's funny when you see the backdrop. Look at the uh, look what it looks like through my phone though. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks clean on uh, in the real life, but on my phone it's freaking out. And there's the uh, Super Famicom uh, TV Build 1 CRT. I'm gonna love that too. All the way down there. So much cool stuff to see. A little museum here as well. That's right, got the Panasonic Q. Other forms of keyboards down here. This thing that looks like a giant PS2 is. <laughs> it's the dev tool for PS2. Kind of cool to see these things that they have here, including the debug dev kits and stuff like that. You get through the generations like the MSX, got Nightmare playing right now. Find money. Oh, M those M Bison dollars. Okay. Gotta love that. This is the Wave game, apparently. I've never even heard of this thing. I've never seen this before. It looks crazy, though. Game Wave, that's right. I said Wave game, it's Game Wave. Here's the Casio Loopy, and there's like someone's real face in there. Yeah, that was, I was gonna say, wait a minute familiar. <laughs> Just a little bit, huh? Yep, there's me. Saying my name as always. Print is complete. Sliced, diced, and here I am. <laughs> the most beautiful thing ever. Oh, come on, focus. <laughs> That's a, a... Here's the tournament section that also has <laughs> parts of airplanes and stuff everywhere. So when you're doing tournaments, you get your own screen, your own TV. Oh man, this is fun. Console land and free play. More consoles just hanging out in the middle of this uh, aviation museum. Oh, got the winner right here too. No Mercy. I played so much No Mercy. Princess TV and Mortal Kombat, you know. Stretches all the way back here, doesn't it? Every little pocketed area filled with more video games, dude. Little driving, driving racing corner over here. Who wants to play like the uh, driving games with the racing wheels? Sure, right. Yeah, more PC gaming over here. All kinds of PC played. Consoles on the floor. Arcade upstairs. Let's check it out. Cool to see Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, the arcade game. These were fun because they had like a few Super Nintendo games you could try out. Oh, he used to love uh, Tutankhamen. Well, go for it. Now they're coming to get you. There you go. I used to love that. You could walk one direction, shoot the other direction. Come on, Dave, you got this. Go for a billion. Yep. <laughs> you suck. All right. Another personal favorite in Rolling Thunder. Love that one. That's the Tengen Tetris. Not the Atari Tetris, but you know. <laughs> we got this dude up here. It's one of the things. It's like, you know, got the arcade over here and then down there. More people walking around. More consoles to play. It's everywhere in this building. I love this game. It's funny because I'm, I'm so used to the Nintendo version, the NES version being the version of this game. But when you play the arcade version, I mean, it's the same game, of course, but it just, you know, plays better, I guess, because it's not the NES version. Oh, good old NARC as well. You can only sell when you're at an arcade that has Robotron. You can hear it from anywhere. Like this, just like the flashing lights, the analog lights. So my thing with Joust, though, is like the, the riders with their Joust sticking out, I thought were like just the faces of the birds. But they had like red heads and then like the jousting staff was like their beak. More classics like Vanguard, love this one. Black Tiger, a personal favorite of mine. You can now play this on the uh, Capcom Arcade Collection too. Oh yeah, if you wanna play like the uh, arcade version of Hogan's Alley, here you go, here you go. Oh, this must be like Nintendo headquarters here or the, the Nintendo aisle along with, you got Mario, Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong Punch-Out as well. Old school computer space. There we go. And we have lights outside of the room with Afterburner. Oh, Jungle Hunt, I'll play that for sure. Kangaroo, oh, all my favorites are right down this way here. Oh, well, I beat it, but the uh, face is a little glitched. <laughs> Do you like import sections? Got the Twin, got the uh, the, the two-in-one, and got the uh, Super Famicom. Gives you a chance to check them all out and have some fun here. I'm not down for that. I see that, I've never seen one of those before, not even in the box, so that's even better. And I love the, uh, I love the revolver. <laughs> yeah, there's a recoil. My goodness. Oh, that's amazing. And the front is your main. Oh, let's do that. All right. We'll go full Rambo here. Right on the side. I have no idea where I'm eating at. I better not do that. <laughs> oh, there's a bus. There's a bus. We got the zapper. We got the zapper. They have the, re they got the, the revolver. I can do better than that. I love this. It just feels it just feels nice. It just feels, it just feels right. Because that's the thing is it actually has a Right. Can you can you do this action and then let it go? Uh, I don't know. You can't. Yeah. It's pre-cocked. It's not going to do anything. Yeah, unfortunately you can't fan. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, you can go back there. Uh-huh. I think you might I can do it. I think. 
Okay. Try, try it. <laughs> you gotta lean back so it's already kind of halfway there. All right. Always a pleasure to see the uh, virtual boy. And they just have like, kind of like one of every system down the way, including the Tower of Power. Too sweet to be sour. 32X. This is really fun. I like this. Game and watches. You can, you can, yeah, you can check out the game and watches. Not every convention does that. I mean, not every convention would just leave these out in the open. I'm sure they'll have security or someone standing by, so no one, you know, ends up in a pocket with someone. Oh, these guys are open early. Oh, and there's a homebrew section. I'm down for that. I like this. This is actually kind of looks like you, Dave. A little, little, is that, yeah, kind of, a little bit. <laughs> yuppie psycho. I was digging these two, the cassette soundtracks. You're being called a yuppie. Oh, very cool to see the, uh, Shadow Beasts on the kiosk, <laughs> on the Dreamcast kiosk, but you can come in here for a whole homebrew section. Homebrew section coming up here. A lot of Dreamcast, a lot of Dreamcast. There's gonna be some, I mean, it's even 30, uh, 3DS. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? How about that? This, this was not planned, but that's amazing. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, and right next to my friends uh, with Doodle World too. Although for some reason, uh, can we do this? Is that what's going on? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Fix it for you, Nate. Oh, go for it. There's like pinball down here. We got pinball. I'm down for that for sure. Oh, they got. Hello. They got import games too. They got import arcade games, man. Doesn't look like it's turned on yet, but we'll, we'll make it work. I don't like this stuff like this. Dude, that's amazing. Oh, we got candy caps. Holy moly, this place has everything. Love the candy cap. This is just day one. We still have like two more days of this. Love the candy caps. I love it. And just there's leader one right there from the GoBots just hanging out. Thank you, leader one, for keeping us safe. You just gotta tap it when it pops up. Oh my goodness. This guy's moving. Oh, this was a fun one too. I was thinking about that bagel we had. I didn't even film it. I was too busy. I was too excited to try the bagel. Jersey bagels are the best. <laughs> I can't place my finger on why. They say it's the water, they say it's the something, but it's something more than that. It's the attitude. Our passive aggressive bagels in the Northwest. Gotta have that New Jersey attitude bagels. That's what we need. It was like a everything egg. And then like, oh, there's a bagel place right there. See, now I'm jealous. Got the Cradle Aviation Museum and right next door. See, I wish we had it here. It's the not so glamorous before the convention opens. <laughs> still setting up and everything. We still got a little bit of time. Oh, I recognize Scott. We know Scott. Browsing before conventions open. You can <laughs> those Kirby pillows. I've always wanted I've always wanted one of those. I've never seen one of those in real life. I need to get a new pen for my suit. But maybe I'll get oh like this one. I might have to grab a couple of these. I'm not much of a pen person, but you know, I know people who are. And I just, you know, I just need one for what I want to wear, you know. I don't know about that one, but you know. I like these. Oh, look at this one. That's a nice wallet. This is cool. Yeah, I like I these like wallets that. here. Knows this? Okay, that's just that. But then this must be so you can prop up, like you can actually put a Game Boy game on it or something. Oh, sure. There you go. Yeah, one of those. These are always kind of hypnotizing where it's like, what is this? Oh, it's the Nintendo 64 logo. Random box of games. Oh, what is this? Got anime on VHS too. Wouldn't be a bad idea to grab something just for the sake of grabbing it. Oh, I used to love Macross Plus. This guy's got the good stuff here. Oh, I love that shoot the lion thing too. It's like early, early. That's super cool. So accommodating. This guy's gonna buy with a cart full of free coffee for the uh, the vendors and the guests. I've never seen that before at another convention. You know, we're just setting up here, getting ready to open, and he's just like, oh, I got free coffee. Whoever needs some coffee. Look at that. How cool is that? Need more, need to see more of that. For the Mario Kart winners. Mario Kart, big old tournament back here too. Nicely done. These are fantastic. I mean, they do like logos and characters, you know, like old school Frogger. Yeah, I got Mikey. Oh, let's see Ice Climber here. Kaboom, we got Jumpman. Oh, that's fantastic. So good. This guy especially. More and more gaming on vinyl, as well as cassette. That's right, you can get Celeste on cassette. Oh, got that, got that Pac-Man drip. Made my first purchase of the day. Had to, had to get it. I'm gonna be putting my head in this on the airplane on the way home. He's sleeping inside Kirby's face. Ooh, this is console yourself soap. And I love the, uh, I love those. I have to step up anyway. I wanted to see uh, these guys. I know all these pops, it's hard to tell, but I was gonna get any of them. Go with my homie Count Chocula. Oh, the pop oh. comes inside the little. Yeah, you, got the, you got the signed sign. ones, that's cool. So you have a signed pop and a signed lunchbox. Oh, right. so 200 bucks. That's amazing. Now we're still signing on, we have like samples. They got all the Kirby cookies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gourmet marshmallows. Yeah, what do you got? What do you got? Uh, yeah, doesn't work. Oh no! 
Yeah. Well, we got to get it working. Uh, yeah. Come on. Well, I'll try. I mean, <laughs> try. I, uh, my, my, my luck with Game Boy uh, Game Boy Color isn't great, but yeah. we'll give it a shot anyway. And Alice Kid Milk World also doesn't work. Oh, I love this game. All right. Yeah. Oh, got a couple of them for open carry surgery later then. Oh, my God, look at you. I know, I just got to put some games in these cases. Yeah. Awesome. Were you making uh, Genesis games for a while, or you just? Yeah, uh, uh, it just uh, replacing them. You know, like you get those damage cases. Sure. Not, like on, like I usually just replace those. Yeah. Those well, I can ones. use these for sure. Thank you so much, yeah. man. You're welcome, man. Wild Bills, yeah. craft beverage, unlimited daily refills with purchase of mug. That we gonna do? Yeah. Diet root beer. I didn't even know diet root beer was a thing. Nice, nice little line going here. My tenth birthday gift. <laughs> oh no! I have, I've have terrible luck. Uh, it's always Game Boy, but. I'll try. I'll do the best I can anyway. I think it's something with the connectors, because sometimes it'll work for like five seconds and then give out. Hmm. I have had that happen with the Pokemon Silver before too, but I guess we'll see. I tried everything. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll try it here pretty soon, as soon as I can. Didn't even have a chance to make it all the way down to the... Things are opening. Oh, yes, we have a King Kiro there. <laughs> Didn't even make it through the entire end of the line, and they're already opening. I better get back to my table as soon as I can here. Oh, there you go. Um, Not bad. I remember this one. That's I remember you're like the... Um, Sticker machine broke. Right, right, so you right. Had to cut it by hand. I which did. I think it adds to it. Okay, sure. So. I was gonna say, yeah, I could, I could upgrade it, I guess. But yeah, this, it's, no, it's, it's an original. That's the original, old school. It's what we can see from here. We see our friends at Poppin' Games again. We'll see you over here. A little variety from where we are. We got old school gamer magazine back there too. It's cool. <laughs> I love these guys. I don't understand how you get a doctorate. You don't even know what a scapella is. You know it's going to be, you don't know the scapella. Oh, Dr. Mario! Got our own vaudeville show in front of us. This is, this is, this is pretty good. My buddy Rob. Hey. Supplying the bagels. I, did, I had my first bagel ever yesterday. I am so proud of it. Now, I've had bagels before, but they were always prepackaged, dry bread. It, 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 it was basically stale bread. That's what yeah. we know as bagels in, here in the, the Pacific Northwest. This is something made out of heaven. I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. They say it's the water. It's delicious. It, it is, is delicious. Water. Talk to Pat. He's over there. He knows everything <laughs> about the water with the pizza but this, this and is, the bagel. This is a French toast, a French toast bagel here. I'm going to give it, give it the old college try here. <laughs> I can't explain That's quality, it. quality, right? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> a little crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Where I live, yeah. in the Northwest, bagels are stale on the inside, stale on the outside. Yeah. I can't explain it. This, you have to, you have to. You have to. The French toast. Oh, I'll take it. Props to the Kid Game cosplayer. I always entertain trades, you never know. And uh, somebody came up, did a trade for uh, DuckTales Remastered. Gotta have that for the PlayStation 3. Never even played this game. It's a sealed one. I had to break the sealed that one, so I might have to play that one too. Love me the Sonic Collection. I see that as a giveaway coming up. And then for the Master System, CIB, Fantasy Zone. What? Another thing I haven't really seen at conventions much is here's the theater entrance and advertising what panel is coming up next. And that's going to be me here in just a couple minutes. I'll be uh, doing a panel here. Should be a lot of fun. This is like a, a dome here. Yeah, it's, a it's, a, it's a planetarium. This is the first time I've ever done a panel in a planetarium. I know, we're just getting set up here, but this is, this is, this is insane. And I don't know what it's going to say, but all your rays are blowing, and then it glitched out and everything like that too. But this is, this is a, tr this is a trip to play this on a giant, uh, thing here, on an IMAX dealio. This is an Italian sub, a slice of one anyway. I mean, and the original is like this gigantic, <laughs> from uh, Nina's apparently. <laughs> I've seen stacks of Atari games. I found cereal. Not just Mario, but Adam's Family cereal for only 10 bucks. Now I already have a box. I wish I didn't, so I could buy that. I want to see more cereal boxes at conventions so I can buy them all. Got window decors, wall decors. That's amazing. Are these crackers? Let's talk about this. Another Atari game, look at this. 007. This honestly shouldn't be a pet peeve. 
I mean, you flip the box over, uh, and it's like, like upside down. <laughs> Easy to fix, but still. Sure. Right, finally gonna look around a little bit here, see if we can find some games, ahoy. And we help find a bunch of games here at Brooklyn Video Games, including Robocop 3. How's it going? Good, weird request. I need a PS5 controller. Does anybody have one? That looks cool. I'll have to look that up. Got the G2. Transformers, uh, if any game was going to be a WADA graded, it'd have to be Where's Waldo. Can you find Waldo? You're all set, man. Always fun to see the Ecto 1 here, as well as the Vic 20. I love this guy. I love seeing this guy at conventions. Some of these games, I got the reflection here. Some of these games kind of make sense. Dracula's Curse 50, okay. Got Mike Tyson Punch Out, you know, 65, fine, you know, G.I. Joe for 100, fine. There's no reason Clue Clue Land should be 60. And that's not just this booth. That's everywhere you find Clue Clue Land. The price is going up for some reason. But that's the case, don't even think about PS2 games here. Bruh, Chicken Blaster? Why have I never heard of Chicken Blaster for the Wii? Let's see a panic restaurant here. Only a thousand, okay. I hear you. A lot of work just standing around. Well, it's mentally exhausting. They don't realize this. You get the physical of standing around all day, but I see that takeover. You call yourself forgotten freshness, but there is so much you have forgotten about. <laughs> I haven't forgotten about these prices. <laughs> Need to replace my scoop. That's a good copy, though. That's a nice one, yeah. Yeah, it's really clean. Always my pleasure to see TurboGrafx-16 games including for the CD, and I think some of these are sealed. These are kind of my favorite. Oh, look at all the Mario paints. I'll still have to go through and find every Mario paint. This is a nice booth. They got the PC games, got the import. Love those. More PC games, and a couple of Castle Grayskulls. Oh, beautiful. Sometimes, especially with these places that are so busy with everything else, all these games here, the games that are in the case, Look at that. Oh, see, that's a pretty good deal on that one. All right. Sometimes these kind of nondescript NES games might have, you know, kind of neglected as far as price goes. So let's have a look here. Eight eyes and all right. Always fun to see a Wonder Swan here. Modded 3DO. There you go. Oh, it's got the Battletoads. It's cool to see the Battletoads here. I love that. I see Kung Fu Master as well. So many great TurboGrafx-16 games. I've seen a lot of them here. I love seeing it. Always. Here are the Atari 5200 games, which you rarely see at a convention, but there's a whole pile of them here. Oh, there's kicks. I knew I was going to find one eventually. The nondescript DVDs and stuff. I see Cowboy Bebop. You can't hide from me. Some guides, some games. I'm trying to see if there's like. Let's see Jeremite, War Cup. There are prices on these. Captain Skyhawk. Uh, no. Oh, here's one. Five bucks. Okay, so this might just be like a five dollar box or something. I see 10 bucks here, so okay. A little, little bit of everything. A little box art on this one. So cool. It's on this system. Look how beautiful these are. Custom, 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 custom. Custom, custom, custom. And if you just need parts to make your own, I guess. A whole bunch of wrestlers here. Near the end of Saturday, and I just now found the $5 box. That used to be full. This is what's left. I was too busy behind a table. I didn't have a chance to look. Wait, I see a couple games in here. I see Lunar Pool. That's not bad. Three for ten. Three for ten. See, that's not bad. I can find three here. There's Litter Pool. There's Gotcha. Oh, here's gonna be a Ducktales right here. It's a no. Oh, Duck Hunt. I was close. I was half right. I was half right. Yeah. There was a duck involved. Yeah, there was a duck involved. So it came with the Dreamcast. Yeah. But this is not anything licensed. I promise you that. Because no, 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 definitely not licensed. Because there's something there that's for keyboard, PlayStation. If, if that means you can plug any keyboard into it and like use it with a GameCube, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's because the GameCube keyboard. Is GameCube. Expensive. Is this VMU or is this like the back of the uh, 64? VMU plugs into that. Oh my goodness, VMU for that. Interesting. Well, I've never seen one. People are about to get up for the day. Welcome to Retro and Chill. I literally have a uh, Blue Point Hazy IPA drinking on the convention floor. I'm gonna start some live music here pretty soon. I'm down. I mean, like, it's supposed to be retro and chill right now, but I see all of these TurboGrafx-16 games, all the loose awesome games. Looks like they had a few winners from the confetti. Oh, and they're, they're doing the tournament right now here, it looks like, or at least one of them. Oh, this thing, too, with the Marks Games TV Tennis. That's fun. Flyers, Action Burger. Remembering your childhood with 30,000 free retro games. What, are you cosplaying stuff like that there? That's Hello, I'm Jack Cooper, co-owner, spokesman, and lever of flyers on cars. <laughs> it's Friendly's, and I'm here for ice cream. I've heard good things about that 
Reese's Pieces Sunday. That might be the way to go, but it's it's they have a whole lot of ice cream options here. I've always heard good things about this place. So I'm excited to try it. Oh, a little taste of the Midwest. We had Superman ice cream. New York selling the Superman ice cream. Come on, New York. You can't you can't steal this from the Midwest. I doubt it's even the same. There's a crunchy element to it. And it's not the same. It's good. Not the same. It really looks pretty. Yeah, not not the same. So I opted for the large Reese's peanut butter cup, and then Dave here got the uh, with the the, the, the droopy uh, Sunday there, the Reese's pieces, the one to get here. I got a large, you got a medium, but I think it's also this is thicker here too. So I don't know. We'll 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 see how it goes. I don't think there's any easy way to go about this. So let me get some of the cups, some of the ice cream, some of this, some of the drip here. Good lord, I'm making a mess on myself over here. I, I don't, I'm afraid to move it because it'll drip right when I move it. All right. Mm. That was mostly peanut butter and almost no ice cream. It's just so messy. Yeah, that's good. It's good. While the music's still going on, we still have seven Raven Studios showing off some new games. I was playing this on my Switch earlier. You're gonna see a video on that coming up really soon. You got this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. Watch out now. Nah, love me some Jungle Hunt. Doing good. A little mini Play Choice tin over here too. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I just I love the fact that it looks like a concert. Um, but yeah, like like Rygar's legendary. I mean, the Marvel Madness. Marvel Madness is one of those like you hear it, and you're like, what game was that from again? I know it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, it's last call here. The shuttle guy says hello. I just removed the blankets from the thing and I found a gift underneath from Build a Cave. This is from my buddy Glenn here. All these random boxes here, including, especially if you have like the At Games, like Legends Ultimate that has Tron. Put your own, install your own Tron, uh, so your own Tron uh, joystick in there. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Glenn. I don't have any room in my suitcase to bring it back, but. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm gonna send it back with my buddy. He'll send it back to me sometime. I always forget how big this uh, Master System box is with the uh, the Sega Scope 3D. A super nostalgic case for me. Played a whole lot of this. I grabbed this one as soon as it came out so I could play Bubble Bobble and Rainbow Islands on the same disc. Now how is it that we nobody grabbed this yesterday? That is beautiful. I'm not even sure how to play it, but man alive, is that awesome. Oh, there's, there's the one. That's the one to have. I had um, I had this book. It got ruined. I always get it back. Great TV there. But that's true. I don't remember seeing these yesterday. It's from Sunsoft. Somebody's he's trying to give him a kiss, I guess. <laughs> I forgot what it's called, but I've played it before. Oh yeah. It's like kind of. It reminds me of um, it reminds me of a Master System. Oh wow, that was cool. I like that. And I especially like that. Always love seeing Turbo do. Controller, you uh, t you turn it by twisting it right down the middle, like you're like you're like you're rinsing out a towel or something. That's how you turn left and right. I thought it was such a cool idea. Retro Game Con, massive vendor market. Retro Game Con. S. Patrick's reading the nostalgia. Oh, somebody just worked out a trade. He wanted a copy. I was like, oh, no, 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 I don't need cash. Just <laughs> Trade me some games for it. I'm good with that. I love the cheap games. All right, found 40 bucks. I sell the books for 40. I found 40, 40. It all adds up to 40. I could, there, there, there's that guy. I love that guy. And I could have probably got like 44 out of it or something like that. You know, just added up all the stuff. But I wouldn't do that to Patrick, my buddy, my friend, Retro Game Con. Oh, see, look at that. He's still looking at the book. He's still looking at the book. Warms my heart. It was a good idea. They just have like little grab bags. You know, 20 bucks for all these Wii games and all that. That's fun. I love that. They get the laser scope and the zoomer both in the box. You don't see the boxes too often. Well, I mean, I've seen worse. Kings of the Beach, $5. Oh, $3. Oh, dude, what a deal. Have a sign of the times. Deadly Towers used to be $1.99. Got it for 20 <laughs> But you gotta got it. Just you can see how it is. Job of the Hut here. Hanging out with the other kind of action figures. What makes these pastries better than any other? Oh, my They're goodness. Italian pastries. What makes them better? Because you can't get that anywhere. No, not in the Northwest. That's for sure. That's, Rainbow I, cookies, Napoleon cannoli. That's a that's a legit cannoli. That's a real cannoli. Yes. See, we don't is. have real cannolis where I live. That's a that's a real cannoli. You, you can, wanna... John. Even though okay. <laughs> I don't want to touch your stuff. 
I trust your stuff, but... My hands are semi-clean. Okay. There you go. I'll take it. Thank you so much. How is that weird? Part of the convention experience is eating delicious food that yeah. I can't get where I live. Mmm. Okay. Oh, it's so good. All oh right. my god, so good. All right, enjoy viewers. All right, past pastries, signing off. Like the sleepy Kirby there. I was admiring the uh, the Mario Pikachu there. Or oh, sorry, Mario Pikachu. I forgot I'm on the East Coast. Yeah, so it, I mean, you just got a Nintendo. I was just like, okay, what's so special? Whoa, but it's just it's a not Nintendo. Plugged in. I gotta, uh, no, it's fine. But yeah, I was like, oh, I, th I was like, oh my God, that's right. amazing. Yeah, it is yeah. Really I probably would have grabbed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The minute I saw it, I said, I'm taking this because there's no way this is getting away from me. <laughs> Fair enough. Face Invaders. Face Invaders. Cool. Yep, and yep. Gotta have that. I picked this one up. Oh, know. it's the, yeah, the Ika or Iki. I found a friend. Ah! I found a friend and a fan. Who wants my lanyard? You good? You're not gonna get that back now, are you? Oh no, we can. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's shy. He's shy. You good, dude? You okay? No. Nope. <laughs> He's done. All right. What'd you find? So this. Uh, you, of all people, a couple of them would enjoy that. There's actually a better one even where he's like flipped over. Like, the, the, the like he's upside down? Yes, which is perfect, but I've never been able to find it. But uh, I thought you would, you've all been Oh, I, I, I got a kick out of that for sure. Shockmaster, yeah. what, what a great thing. Yeah, oh, like, dude! I don't know if you pull like figures at all, but even if you don't, they're nice like... Uh, yeah, like, wow! So you got four horsemen, you got the Macho oh, Madness one. And, and, these, and these fit on your figures. Yeah, it's like the little absolutely. retro thing. So you, the, the kill steam kill, I especially love because oh, it yeah, no. brings him back to his real, it does. real roots. That's amazing. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> love the Eevee. That's. <laughs> I'm mostly certain that's actually Eevee. There's not a costume, it's just. Just leaving, <laughs> but it's okay. It's just in time because I, I have an empty table now. So the table's now yours. I can put the John Riggs sign back on there. I don't know if you're wearing my glasses. You'll kind of look alike. I don't know. <laughs> we got this. We got this. We got this goal. I'll take care. American Dream Mall, ski slope, aquatic park, Ferris wheel, and a whole lot of money. That's why no one goes there. Oh, there's MetLife. That's kind of cool. Limpers just has neighborhood cemeteries. It's driving by, huh? That's how they do it here. All right. Like literally, it's just like you know. There's and right over here. Little road. Here it is. Oh, here it is. I missed this place. Lindhurst Pastry Shop. Came here back in a video game con back in the day. Thinking about this ever since. I mean, come on. How are you gonna deny the glorious, the beauty? And it just never ends. Steve, help me translate. What do you call these? Oh, the jelly with the chocolate at the end. <laughs> the, the, the jelly with the chocolate at the end? Yeah. Don't, I, after trying one of Pat's, I feel like I got a handful of those too, for sure. Oh, they got those black and whites. I bet they make them fresh here. Gonna get one of those for sure. Everything looks amazing. These things, whatever they are, they're like little cannoli taco cherry things. It's a cannoli cookie stuff. Oh, you're amazing. Uh, let me grab uh, two of those, too. Black and white. Should I, do you do like ha right down the middle, or should I do like one bite first? Right down the middle. Yeah, right down the middle. Both. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no. Are they half moons or black and whites here? Uh, black and whites. Okay. Yeah. Delicious. Super, super soft. <laughs> thick. In 800 feet, slight right yeah, not crunchy or anything. Ramp. Oh, it's so good. It's basically cake. It's not, it's not even a cookie. I've noticed that around here. They call cook cakes cookies. It's like, no, it's cake. It's <laughs> At least it would be for me, but I'm the outsider, so I can't say anything. 